Hi, I'm Mike Scheibinger from Sony Creative Software. We we're here at the uh, AES show, and it's Monday, so we've had three days of constant demoing. Uh, the voice is a little bit shaky, but I'm here to show you this program called uh, SpectraLayers Pro, Advanced Audio Spectrum Editor. And what this program allows you to do, basically, is a thing called Unbake the Cake. Uh, that's the marketing speak that we use. And we, uh, we can take an audio file, unmix it into component parts, uh, do some processing to it, and bring it back to uh, the, you know, remix it and mix it down and re-render it and arrive at something totally different. And so um, over here on the screen, we have the program itself. And uh, I'm going to play this, this audio file for you through my IMAX speakers. And um, listen closely. <laughs> People still coming to terms with the night of rioting which caused such devastation on their high street. And much of that street is in fact now a crime scene, about half a mile of it, as police officers continue their investigation. Okay, this is a recording of a news broadcast, and we have on the uh, horizontal axis, we have uh, time, on the vertical axis, we have frequency, and you can, you can see the, the siren sound is sort of like an undulating band of color that runs the entire length of the file. And up here you can also see that there are um, harmonics associated with the siren. The siren is kind of a simple sound and um, so it doesn't have very many harmonics which uh, makes this a really good demonstration uh, file to use. So what we'll do is here we'll start a new layer and when we start a new layer over here it comes up as an active layer which you know the red means it's active and over here we have now available to us uh, tools that we can use to extract um, the siren sound out of the mix. So I'm going to choose the harmonic extraction tool and if I go down here and I balance the cursor over the siren sound and hit the tab key, I can audition that sound and if I like the selection uh, then I can just click the mouse button one time and it takes the selection over to the new layer. Now I can click um, through the siren sound uh, the, the harmonic extraction tool sort of intelligently seeks out the sound, you know, forward in time. And if you look up at the same time, uh, the tool is selecting the uh, harmonic uh, overtone series that goes along with the siren. Like I said, it's simple. It's only it's only a few harmonics, uh, not as complicated as a you know a piano or a saxophone, which is which is really good for this demonstration because it gives you a very clear look at. Um, the accuracy of the harmonic extraction process. So now I'm drawing through the siren and you can see I've, I've made a couple of errors here which is not really a big deal. Uh, we can clean those up at another stage of the process and uh, down through the spectrum we go and uh, now we're finished selecting the entire siren file and I can solo this and you can hear now that the siren is now uh, on its own layer and separated from uh, the other uh, source material in the file, the newscaster's voice and the street sounds and so forth. Um, if I move my screen contrast control like this, you can see the overtone series of the siren sort of coming into view and you can see that it's done a pretty good job of uh, extracting the overtones of the siren. If I select on this layer again and take my eraser tool, I can, you know, do some repair work here and there are, you know, maybe areas of the sound that um, I want to put back or, or take out of this layer. Over here, we have some things uh, to take out, and I, you know, I can sit for a few minutes and do some uh, some detail work on this. Really easy to do in Spectra Layers Pro. Now, if I want to get serious and get into some uh, really deep editing, like say, for example, I want to edit this section right here, I can click on it and sort of zoom into it like this. Now I've got it in view. Uh, it fills almost the entire screen. And uh, this portion here, I've sort of determined that it's not a part of the siren sound and I want to get rid of it. I can grab my eraser tool and go in there and just, you know, click on the parts of the sound that um, I don't want and uh, clean it up. And um, <clears throat> if I want even more depth, I can turn on my three dimensional. Uh, 3D displacement tool and I can go in and get a look at the sound in terms of uh, amplitude envelope and you can see it's kind of like really really bright um, at, on, you know on, on tops of the peaks 
and um, as, it, as the sound kind of dims out, that's a function of amplitude. And so that again, I'm, I'm looking for a place in the sound file that shows a really nice, uh, a really nice display of of uh, the 3D tool. And once we once we get in here deeper, we can you know go in again and keep working away, chipping away at it. Getting pretty CPU intensive right now, so it's so really deep in the spectrum, and you can go in there and clean up stuff, and it's totally awesome. So uh, getting out of the 3D tool, go back to our uh, cursor, and we'll pull the file back into uh, full view. And now, bring my contrast control back down. Here's the original source file. And you can see the siren sound is selected on its own layer here. It appears as a yellow, uh, yellow ribbon in the file. Now if I take my siren sound and throw it 180 degrees out of phase, it actually sort of disappears from the mix. And uh, let's listen to what this sounds like. People still coming to terms with the night of rioting which caused such devastation on their high streets. And much of that street is in fact now a crime scene, about half a mile of it, as police officers continue their investigation. So, you know, the siren is fairly uh, effectively eliminated from the sound file, from the layer. And I can increase my contrast control even more. Now you can see uh, sort of like a stark outline of, uh, you know, the impact that I've had on this file. And let's do a little A-B comparison. We'll start it again, and I'll switch the phase um, in and out so you can see, so you can hear and see the, uh, the effect of what we've done so far. People still coming to terms with the night of rioting which caused such devastation on their high street. And much of that street is in fact now a crime scene, about half a mile of it, as police officers continue their investigation. All right. Uh, fantastic. This program does an amazing amount of really cool things. What I've shown you here is just sort of like, you know, a, a phase inversion exercise. We have noise print based noise reduction. We have um, selecting frequency bands and moving them into SoundForge for processing and bringing them back. Great for DJs and remix artists. People who need to do, you know, really serious notch filtering of uh, specific frequencies. Very easily done in uh, Speculators Pro. We can take we can take instruments and remove them from a mix, take them over to SoundForge, process them, bring them back and reintegrate. There's just a whole world of repair and restore possibilities, but uh, what we're really excited about here now is the creative possibilities that a lot of people might not be aware of. And um, this is a program that, you know, once you get your hands on it, you'll find a million and one uses for it. And every single person, everyone, everyone who works with sound will find a reason, uh, you know, somewhere um, on some task or some job they're doing where they know that uh, spectral layers will save the day for their project, you know, salvage a file or do a creative job that, you know, would otherwise be impossible with any other program. And so, Craig, thanks so much for having, uh, for visiting us here at AES and checking out Spectral Layers Pro. And I uh, encourage you all to go over to www.sonycreativesoftware.com, download a 15 day demo. You can do everything um, except save your project with it and um, you'll get hooked on this really fast, and uh, it's a beautiful thing. Thanks, Greg.